Hello food fans, going to have some bologna. Haven't had bologna in a while. We're going to have it fried, of course. And this is low cost eating at its best. We're going to also have some chili beans. And we're also going to have part of a potato. And we're going to have part of a tomato. And we're going to have part of an onion. And what uh, we're doing here is we're getting some uh, very healthful uh, food, but we're also getting a slice of bologna, which is frowned upon by the health food experts, but uh, bologna tastes good. So we're getting some good taste from the bologna and also low-cost eating at its best. So let's get started. I will begin with the potatoes and the onions and that is uh, of course less than one potato and less than one onion and each of those uh, produce items the tomato the potato the onion they cost about a dollar each and I used about one-tenth of uh, the potato and one-tenth of the onion and uh, later when uh, these are cooked up a little bit more I will add some bologna and other ingredients there and I think it's going to turn out very very good and very very low cost. I have added the bologna and I will let the two slices of bologna cook without slitting a line of uh, cutting from the center down to the edge of the bologna. I like the bologna curled up and I'll probably use the bologna at least one slice of bologna and making a bologna sandwich with lots of good vegetation all around and I'll let the uh, onions and potatoes continue to cook and when the bologna starts getting uh, a look of uh, more brownness instead of pink I will add the beans to the mix so that they can cook up nicely and I put everything into the pan that uh, is going to be going into the pan I'll let it uh, simmer for a while I'll turn the heat off and get ready to eat And we have all sorts of goodies here. I've got some uh, bread. This is 15 grain bread. I bought this at uh, where did I get this? Walmart. And I'm going to take one slice of the bread and use it to make sort of a half of a sandwich. And the only condiment that I'm going to use on this sandwich is ketchup. I also will be eating some coleslaw. Coleslaw is very good. This also came from Walmart. And the bargain price for bologna, $1.18 for 12 ounces, and that uh, also is at Walmart. So it's about uh, a dime a slice. 10 cents per slice. Let me um, start with the salad as always. And in this case the salad is coleslaw. And I could have added uh, some tomatoes to the coleslaw. But I've already got tomatoes on the bologna sandwich. And the coleslaw is always good. And worth another spoonful. My serving of coleslaw is probably about 40 cents total. Let me get this um, out of the way. Hope you've had a uh, wonderful beginning to the new year. This will be a busy year. 
Lots of things should be happening. Get some ketchup. Wonder why they put the labels on upside down. Maybe it's right side up and I am upside down. What we shall do is put a little bit of ketchup on a slice of uh, 15 grain bread which is really a good tasting bread apparently the uh, ketchup wants to fight there we go now I'll put this back over here and spread the ketchup evenly and get a slice of bologna and I do like the bologna burned and curled up like that I've got a couple of beans on it and the chili beans are very good especially with hot dogs or bologna Try some chili beans. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Delicious. More chili beans. And I didn't put any flavoring in. I didn't put any added chili powder or basil or garlic powder. Just try some of this uh, sandwich here. 15 grain bread and bologna and ketchup. And it is delicious. And the bologna is low cost enough that it's almost uh, a wonder how it got to market at such a low price. $1.18 for 12 ounces. I'll put a little slice of tomato on the sandwich here. wonder how they get all this uh, good produce to market because I've been on a farm where we had a garden and if you try to grow some tomatoes you'll get some tomatoes but a lot of tomatoes are taken by the insect tomato fans This is good. Don't know the total price. I didn't total it up. The added slice of tomato adds to the flavor. We'll talk a little bit about how to get into show business. I've had a lot of experience in show business. And most of what I've done in show business, I've done without any great deal of talent. We're supposed to get some... Uh, very cold weather here in Tennessee in about a week. Move this out of the way and slide the handle around in a circle. I 
have some fried potatoes and onions. Potatoes and onions. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Hard to believe I've been with YouTube more than 17 years. I did use a bit of vegetable oil in the pan when I started uh, cooking the potatoes and the onions. There are some chili beans. Chili beans are quite good. 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 Open up the root beer. This is Barks Root Beer, B-A-R-Q-S. And Barks is good. I definitely had it before. Show business, how do you start your career? Best way is to do it. Start out either as a comic or a singer or a musician or a dancer, a producer, a writer, a director. You have to find a place to put on a show. And that's easy to do if you're watching this video. You could be in a video and someone could be watching you and that would be a beginning of becoming not only an actor, a comic, a singer, a dancer, a musician, etc. You could become something that uh, is described with a, a, a sort of a new term the influencer. You could be an influencer. You could be an influence on other people and your style of content, whatever it happens to be, could still be entertaining people 50 years from now. Got some beans and some onions here. Get one more slice of the fifteen grain bread. Ketchup always tastes good, probably has uh, all kinds of things in it that are not 
healthful ingredients. But it is healthful in that it makes healthy food taste better so you're more inclined to be eating healthy food if you eat some ketchup. As a flavoring I'm going to put in a little bit of uh, chili beans with the bologna and make one more sandwich here. piece of bologna. Careful not to spill it. If you have not already started a YouTube channel and you want to get into show business, that would be the first bit of advice I would tell you. Get onto YouTube. This is good. This does taste very, very good. Start a YouTube channel, talk to the camera, say hello, tell people what you've been doing. If you sing, sing. When I make, <clears throat> when I make a video it's usually a one-person production. That bread is really, really good. 15 grain bread. Coleslaw's main ingredient is uh, cabbage. And there are many articles on the internet about the health benefits of cabbage. And coleslaw is one of my favorite foods. If I were in a small town and wanted to get into show business, I would start up a showcase, invite people to come to whatever area you have where you could do a show, such as a tavern, a bookstore, a church, the library, wherever people gather. and. Uh, Put on a show. Get a microphone, an amplifier, a mic stand. Go down there and do a show. And right away you become not only an entertainer, but you're also a producer. Develop your personality, your on-camera personality. I have some uh, tomato and chili beans here. Let me cut the tomato in half here. I'll try to. This 
this is good tasting food. Makes a nice lunch. More root beer. When I left home at 17, age 17, I had no show business talent other than the ability to sing loud and uh, I was not afraid of auditioning. I had stage fright, like I guess almost everyone has stage fright when you go out to do a show, but I never let stage fright get in my way. I would go on with stage fright. I wouldn't stay off stage just to, just because I'm afraid. Just don't use uh, some kind of substance to make yourself brave enough to face stage fright. Go on stage afraid. Start singing. When it comes to being an influencer, listen to what people say after you've performed. Listen to how they describe you. There might be something inside of you that needs to be developed that will be your area of influence. Good beans. Tomato and beans. I've read in uh, articles about entertainers that John Lennon and Elvis Presley each had stage fright. If you dance, <clears throat> if you dance, make a YouTube video showing certain dance steps that work for you. I admire people who dance because I'm a terrible dancer. But I've danced in probably five movies and five TV shows. This is delicious. If you're looking for chili beans for a recipe, I recommend, I recommend Walmart. Chili beans are low cost. I think, I think the brand name is Good Value.
you could use these beans with hot dogs or pasta as well as bologna. The beans, the potatoes, the onions, the bologna, all gone. Take a sip of root beer. Time now for the secret dessert. This pan up here all the way. What I have <clears throat> is a blueberry pie. Where's the opener? I think this is it. It's a little individual blueberry pie, it's 84 cents. Almost every ingredient in this uh, meal I just put together, most of the ingredients are about one dollar. Now we'll dig into the blueberry pie. I like blueberries and I like blueberry pie. I'm glad you were able to stop by today. <clears throat> Did you get your car fixed? You know, tires are expensive. Someone once said to me, if you can keep your car running with only $1,000 worth of repairs each year, hang on to the car. This blueberry pie is good. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for watching.